Hi, this is Sean and Christy. We're, we're uh, presenting on the article Turning Excel into a Financial Sleuth that was uh, written by Anna M. Rose and Jacob M. Rose. It was published in the Journal of Accountancy in August of 2003. Um, some of the key topics that we'll be talking about are Benford's Law, um, how it's used in discovering fraud and error, some statistical concepts, useful data for analysis, and a VBA Visual Basic for applications um, in Excel. Okay, so one um, possible situation that you would use this function and the fraud buster function is, for example, if, if you're running a, a small shop and you're in the process of expanding, um, but you're still using point of sale terminals. In other words, you're you're still using cash registers, and people are manually reporting their um, the positive and negatives into their into their cash registers. Um, one way that instead of getting a whole um, ERP or, or <coughs> other system to to determine that you're getting the right numbers, you can use Excel to to kind of give you an idea of how accurate your numbers are and whether or not there's fraud or human error involved in um, your daily transactions. So as you can see in this um, spreadsheet, we've got a, a list, a set of data which are transactions from point of sale terminals or cash registers. And, and the function is called Fraud Buster. And what it's going to do is it's going to um, run through each of these items, these line items, and determine using statistical analysis and Benford's law, which we'll explain about later, um, to determine any irregularities or errors or possible fraud that um, may be uh, inside the set, set of data. We're not going to, you're not required to, to know this, um, to know this code in, in Visual Basic for applications, but, but this is it. It's a, pre it's a pretty long one, but as you can, s as we'll show you, it's a real effective tool in, in uh, making sure that, that your numbers are accurate and you're running your business properly. So before we run the fraud buster, we'll just explain about Benford's law. Frank Benford was a physicist in New York who was studying lists of data and discovered that in most data sets, some numbers will occur more than other numbers. For example, numbers with the with the first digit as number one occur far more than numbers with the first digit as number nine. Uh, he actually um, studied many sample data lists and came up with a statistical set. So he examined that the number one should occur about 31% of the time in any list of data and the number nine only about 5% of the time. So if we apply this law to any set of data, we can determine if there's irregularities because if there are humans putting in data to commit fraud, they will not keep things random like would be in a normal system. They might use some numbers more than others and it will deviate away from the law's expectations. So this is how Excel spots if people have committed fraud. So simply to uh, examine any data, first you'd import the data into the sheet, which has already been done here, and then you just click this macro button, Run Fraud Buster, and it goes through and examines all the data for us. So we have here the first worksheet, which is the first digit test. So this is the test that examines all the first digits in that set of data. As we can see here, the digit 1 occurred 5 times. The rate that it should have occurred is 30% according to Benford's law, but it only occurred 6%. So this is something that would make us think, okay, what is wrong with our data? Why did it only occur 6% of the time? And if we look down here at the number 6, it occurred, it is meant to occur about 6% of the time, according to Benford's law, but in our data was 14%. So we would think, oh, that's a bit, a bit too high and something is wrong in our data. And the graph below here explains it even better. You can see the number one in the Benford should be up here and ours is down here. If our data was normal and not touched by humans, then it would be the same. But obviously something is wrong because we have great deviations here in our data. 
And the second digit test does the same thing, just looks at the second digit of every number. And as you can see down here, the number digit 6 occurs a lot more than it would in the according to Benford's law. So already here in our business, we would note that something is wrong and that we need to investigate further to find out if there is fraud. Okay, so in addition to the uh, first and uh, second digit test that, that can be run using this function, we can also run the first two digit test and that gives us um, um, more, more efficient analysis of the data we have here and whether or not it's uh, fraudulent or, or it has error. And uh, as you can see right here, these are the digits that are that are found. In, and according to Benford, this is the um, the number of times that they should that they should occur in the in the data set. But this is the um, the actual uh, actual occurrence that that um, has happened during uh, through our the, the data set that, that that we have here. Well, this is this is the number of. Uh, of times that it has happened, um, and and just like the rest, the first two, the the first digit test and the second digit test, we can see that there's obviously um, a problem with with our data set, um, as we can see right here. These these numbers down here are, are the Benford um, the Benford analysis, and and this is what we've actually got in our data set. So so something is happening that that shouldn't be um, and it's important to, to remember that that this fraud buster or um, analysis using Benford's law can only be most effective with large data sets um, small ones wouldn't work with this analysis because there's just not enough samples to take and not enough occurrences to to um, to to make a significant change in in data Okay, so as we can see here, another um, situation that might not work um, using Benford's law and the fraud buster is if um, maybe your petty, your petty cash fund and where all the disbursements are between 10, 10 and $20, we know that all the digits would be either one or two, so that's not really going to give us a good idea as to fraud or error. And also if a company is selling a product that's fixed price, you know, it's all nine ninety five then everything's going to be in a multiple of, of 9.95 so 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 there's a few things to consider when when using this function and uh otherwise it, it's a really useful tool in in uh trying to trying to make sure that things are running properly in your company and we just want to finish up by just making sure you understand that the place where we got the fraud buster sheet was here. So it's an already created uh, macro file where you download and all you need to do is import your own data into this exact file and then you'll be able to use um, the macro and analyze Benford's law because to create your own VBA code you'd have to actually learn how to do so with this instruction manual and that's a whole other topic. So for the exam question we will just use this file right here and for, from the wiki which is found in the wiki. Thank you.